Hello, welcome to this drum lesson for Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. So, classic tune here. Um, let's get straight into this. The verse pattern. So it's this really nice um, tom kind of groove. Now, it's there's there's a couple of ways to play this. The what is on the studio version is kind of what I'm going from. I think when he plays it live, he plays it um, with like quarter note kicks. But on the record, um, the pattern is, I'll just play it for you and then the, a basic version of it and then we can um, break it down. So what we're doing there is kicks on one and three and a flam backbeat on two. So we've just got a backbeat on two, not on four. Um, and we're kind of keeping this constant floor tom thing. Um, eighth note. Now he the approximation of what he's doing is is um, sort of on the toms is a kind of two bar thing. The first time round, he's kind of going one and two and and then the second time round, it's just the constant eighth notes. So it's like. Kicking out three and and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. And then the second time, you're going like three and four and, like playing all of them. There's some slight variations in there, but that, that keeping to that kind of pattern works pretty well. What's really nice about this is there are these little snare fills or um, in the verses, wherever there's like a little fill or sometimes there's like a build. After he does that fill, crashes out, you would naturally want to go crash on the one and then put your backbeat in on two. But he actually drops that backbeat on two, which is really nice. Um, it just kind of gives it that even less amount of backbeats to it. So it's quite a tricky, it's quite a tricky pattern that, um, especially if you're just doing kicks on one and three. If you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, just do the all four quarter notes on the bass drum. So it's more like. Much easier to do that. Um, so these little fills, there's the fur, the sort of, they're quite, they're quite um, hooky as well. These fills, and they're coming in on the second sixteenth note of beat three, or the one in the first verses anyway. So it's like this. See there what I did after I did the fill, then we're coming in, we're dropping that backbeat on two, which kind of gives it this, this, it's kind of, it's not a stumbling feel, but it almost feels like it's, whoa, a little bit stumbly, but in a really nice way. Um, at the front of the tune, he does that. Um, just a little note on the intro. The intro can feel a bit weird because it's, it's just six bars. We come in on the fifth, on the, on the fifth bar, um, on the last bar going into the verse, um, because one of the guitars is straight and the other one is kind of a, an offbeat. So just listen to the first guitar, which is like, and then you've got this feel. So yeah, 
there. That's the feel coming in. Just how you drop that, that back beat. Um, chorus pattern, really quite simple. We're going to, quor to, to, to quarter note bass drums. Just doing eighth notes and then opening before the back beats. So it's like one and and three and. Um, when the chorus is later on, the second chorus, third chorus, is it second chorus? Uh, one, two, third chorus. Third chorus, which merges into the solo and which merges out into another extended chorus. Where he, it's kind of more like four snares. It's more. Like and he's he's really messing around with that but it's kind of that four snare thing ga 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 but using some dynamics on the snare so you can sort of mess around with that a little bit and then after the core after the solo the last chorus uh the the hi hat opens um yeah opens does that one and three And like I say, there's quite a few other little fills and stuff which um, you can delve into. In a nice, nice little thing to note, in verse 2, it does do this the snare hit again. But instead of it being on 3E, it's on 4. So it's a little bit later uh, than in verse 1. Um, it's sort of one of those things where maybe it was a mistake because it's not the same as verse one, but because it's because it's such a famous song, it all is like if you don't get it, if you don't get it in that in that configuration, it can sound a bit a bit wrong. Even though it's, the variation's lovely to have, but maybe he meant to play it there, and and it was a bit late, and but it just it just works. So yeah, just remember that's on four instead of three, and it's a little bit later. Um, Cool. That's pretty much it. It's it's um, it's a relatively straightforward song to do. Like I say, for the beginners, just do the quarter note bass drum because you can have that for going through pumping through the whole song. Um, but if you if you want to kind of get that, what what hap Not to bang on about it, but in the verses, by dropping the kick to just one and three it just gives more space because there's quite a lot of well there's there's a lot of those kind of acoustic guitars going on it just gives that kind of like oh yeah so sort of opens it right out for the verse and then back in for the chorus anyway hope they enjoyed that um see you in the next one thank you